I don't remember exactly how I found this small aviation museum. We call these helicopters Jolly Green Giants and when we had them on the ship. And this, of course, is an EA-6, which began as an A-6 intruder, and in 71 they were converted to ECM aircraft, the electronic countermeasure aircraft. Uh, initially, you may have seen it in the movie The Flight of the Intruder with Danny Glover. This is the Bell AH-1 Super Cobra a helicopter, obviously, uh, used in Vietnam. Actually, you know, during the Vietnam War, you'll notice it's a two-seater with the drivers in the back and the gunners in the front. And right here is the Gatling gun. This is a rocket pod. Uh, it looks like Zuni rockets. Here I walked down by the other planes. That's an F-14 there. Tomcat, made famous in the movie Top Gun by Tom Cruise. And well, here we are at the Hickory Aviation Museum. I have some interesting airplanes here that I've never seen before, but this one, I've seen many of them. I used to watch them take off and land every day on the Intrepid, but for that, on the Bionomi Shark. This is an A4 Skyhawk. This happens to be the L version, and this has obviously been used for land use, obviously, because it doesn't have a tail hook on it. You could never land one on a carrier without a tail hook. I've seen these planes so laden with bombs that they would go out of sight when they flew off the end of the flight deck before gaining altitude and becoming visible again. I'm going to look at some of the older aircraft now. This is the F-9 Cougar. When this plane was introduced to the Navy initially in the 1950s, it had straight wings. The straight wing version was called the Panther. Uh, the swept ring version obviously gives you more airspeed, and therefore the Panther became a Cougar, but they kept it in the cat family. This is an FJ-4 Fury, one of the first operational jets for the U.S. Navy. It does, and it is, an F-86 Sabre jet, which has been adapted for shipboard use. It has uh, a tail hook on it, and the wings fold up on it. Uh, this uh, particular plane was a Marine Corps version, which does not have to flip up wings. I have a real good video on the F-86 Sabre, if you'll click the box up there. Uh, this is a T-33. Uh, it's had a lot of mileage on it. This was the first, one of the first, or the first operational uh, jet planes for the United States Air Force and Navy. It's starting to feel a whole lot like lunchtime. I think there's a picnic table under the wing. Claudette's vegan lunch was delicious as usual. I'm standing beside a P-3 Orion. This is an anti-submarine warfare plane. Uh, it was based on the Lockheed Electra, an unsuccessful passenger plane, but Lockheed converted it to a military aircraft and it's been flying ever since. Now this is one of the most unique and unusual aircraft. Actually, this is one of a kind. There were only three of these built. This is the XF-15 C1 and it has a uh, radio aircraft engine, reciprocating engine, as well as a jet engine. This was built in the very late 40s, uh, right before jet aircraft became fairly common. 